A seafood farms here say challenges remain as two new sea space parcels are put up for sale. And these include a lack of technological capabilities and high investment costs. Announced on Thursday, each plot near Pula Bukom is around the size of seven football fields and can be used to farm fish or crustaceans. Here at the southern waters of Singapore, the relatively pristine environment has been a fertile ground for breeding fish. With two sea parcels here now made available to grow seafood, farms say it'll help ease overcrowding at the Johor Strait, where most are currently located. When you are farming in a relatively isolated manner, uh, there is always the, the advantage of having less disease pressure because um, uh, you are sharing that body of water with the other uh, farmers and also other activities in the region. So the less farming that's currently in that area, the less uh, chances for disease pressure to affect your operation. But that might not be enough to get farms to bite. That's because bidders must use what's called a closed containment system to prevent damaging the environment, which means traditional fish farmers could face more challenges when it comes to ramping up the technology that's needed. Energy provision to the particular farm will be quite challenging, um, especially so because closed containment aquaculture systems are very energy intensive. With the technological um, requirements, uh, there will be a huge investment of cost involved, um, either in the monitoring front, the filtering of uh, wastewater, as well as to um, optimize the production systems. Even for bigger players, like this farm, which produces 120,000 kilograms of shrimp annually, these considerations can be daunting. The bottleneck would be technology and understanding how to run this kind of system. They still require a lot of know-how in terms of they, they have to choose the right species. They have to know well, what type of feed and what type of, you know, fingerling and, you know, all these things. They have to get it, uh, you know, for this technology. The good thing is that those who get it right can increase production and boost food security. Based on the reports, it seems like the two plots alone is going to meet about 80% um, of uh, the current local production. And it's quite significant. So basically, it base increases our food supply by easily uh, 1.7 times uh, what we have currently. The Singapore Food Agency says that it has been working with environmental groups to launch more sea spaces for sustainable fish farming. Tenders for the once near Pulau Bukom will close in April.